Last fall, when PACCAR introduced its proprietary 40,000 pound on highway drive axle, the company said it was working towards a fully integrated powertrain. They had the MX engine and the PACCAR axle. The piece that was yet to come was the transmission. In late August of 2017, PACCAR unveiled the final piece of its powertrain strategy, the PACCAR automated transmission. Packard Automated Transmission is a 12-speed twin countershaft design with helical gearing. It was developed by the joint venture of Eaton Cummins Automated Transmission Technologies. Packard programmed it for optimized performance with its MX-13 engine and the drive axles it released last year. It's an overdrive setup with a final drive ratio of 0.77 to 1. 11th gear is direct. The maximum input ratings are 510 horsepower and 1,850 pound-feet of torque and it's rated to 110,000 pounds gross combination weight. It's also the lightest automated transmission on the market, weighing in at just 657 pounds. I'll tell you a bit more about the transmission as we go along, but first, let's get aboard and give it a low-speed shakedown. Drivers will know this is where some automated transmissions fall down. We're just pulling out of the technical center here in Renton, just driving through the parking lot. Of course, this is low speed operation. This is where a lot of the automated transmissions run into some difficulty. Uh, trying to manage nice smooth low speed shifting. And uh, I gotta say right off the bat, first impression with this one uh, is it really does low speed well. And there's no, I call it roartiness with the pedal. You know, if I'm giving it a bit of pedal here, you're gonna get some bounce, but not the way I've seen in some. Uh, this is really, really sweet at low speed. The mark of good integration between the engine and the transmission is the system's ability and willingness to skip shift. There's fuel savings in not using every gear while upshifting. This transmission skip shifted every time it could. I was even beginning to think maybe it was really a 6 speed rather than a 12. Packard's done a really good job of opening up the communication between the engine and the transmission. They both seem to know exactly what they want to do. Okay, so we just took off from the stop and uh, climbing a hill and turning a corner here. So we're throwing everything we can at the transmission. She went from second to fourth, now we're into fifth. It's taking this up shifts at 1500, so still a nice fuel efficient range there for that kind of work. Well, there was a gutsy one, 10th to 11th, took us all the way down to 1000 RPM. And uh, we're still pulling. Of course, that's where all the torque is, so. Uh, it was comfortable shifting into 11th gear, even though we were going up a hill and uh, dropped down to 1,000 RPM and we pulled ourselves up now to 12. So that from a transmission is pretty good to see because uh, you really want to be down there in that low, low side of the torque curve as much as possible, but it's not often you get down to 1,000. 1,100, yeah, that's pretty common now, but 1,000, so <laughs> that's pretty good. It's great that the transmission will keep the engine revs low while cruising, but when you want to use the engine brake, it's high engine revs that you want. The transmission gives you that, too. There are four positions to the engine brake control, low, medium, high, and max. When you pull the controller into the max position, it initiates a downshift to get the revs up to as high as 2,000 RPM. That's where the engine brake really digs in. So I'm gonna activate my engine brake here, gonna pull it down into the number three position, this also has a max position. When you dump it into max, it pushes the RPM way up and will initiate a downshift. There we go. There's overspeed protection baked into the programming that will automatically upshift to protect the engine if the revs get too high. And speaking of features, the Packard automated transmission also has creep mode for really low speed operation and urge to move, which gently engages the clutch when you take your foot off the brake pedal. But I'm really, frankly, pretty happy and surprised at how well it works. Uh, the transmission is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Uh, it's nice and smooth driving. Uh, it skip shifts whenever it can, which is a good thing for fuel efficiency. Um, it manages 
gear, gear selection and road speed really, really well. A couple of times when I got up a little bit high in the gear, but that's, you know, you're going to get that. Um, a lot of opportunities to uh, downshift right down to a thousand and the transmission took advantage of every one of them. Like I said, that's really where the low RPM is and where you want it to run. So for a brand new gearbox, uh, I think this thing's got a heck of a future. So that's our first look at the brand new 12-speed Packard Automated Transmission. It's a brand new design from the Eaton Cummins Automated Transmission Technologies joint venture and at this point it's exclusive to Packard. For the ultimate test drive, I'm equipment editor Jim Park. Drive safe and keep those revs down.